All right. I don't care if I've decided to make this early, but I have decided to make a Halloween video just in the middle of, well, I say in the middle, the end of August. Don't really care. I'll upload it at one point, closer to October, maybe, whatever. I enjoy this. Doesn't matter if anyone else does. That's what I thought. And if you enjoy it, then even better. Let's go. If it isn't obvious enough, I love this game. With a passion. Welcome to Hallowed Hollow, the only community for Pandora's exiled and retired undead. I'm the town's lookout, TK Baja. Why don't you come on and find me, would you? Just follow the sound of the blind redneck zombie's voice. <laughs> I've actually decided to, um, I've done this before, it was like a speedrun version, but I decided to just take it casually this time and enjoy it and show it off. <laughs> show off absolutely why this scared me when I was younger. Yes, when I was younger. <laughs> I love this game, and specifically this headhunter. I just think the atmosphere is done perfectly. And there's a little uh, secret in this game. I was at like this map, I was going to show it off just now, but you know what? I'll focus on the main quest, and then I'll show it off. I don't imagine it'll take more than an hour. So these little pumpkins, you can actually destroy them, and they'll drop ammo, as well as candy. Now this candy can be eaten, and it's not always dropped. I'll show you in a second. Lately, a real sourpuss named the Pumpkin Kingpin's been hassling the townsfolk. They're so scared these days, they won't even step outside. Why don't you get out there and give them the old one-two for me? You got it. No candy still. Okay, now we'll get into combat. Now all the enemies are mostly skeletons. Blood off as well, but it's better. Oh, sometimes as well they can spawn. These pumpkins can spawn. Pumpling! You're exactly what I was about to talk about. Now, if you kill these, they drop candy. Guaranteed every time. It's randomized. And I will explain to the best of my ability what each candy does before I actually use it. So, to my knowledge, the green candy restores your health. Now, I think I also discovered later on that it might actually slightly increase the rate at which your shield is restored. I'm not entirely sure about that, but it definitely regenerates your health. No. No. That's another one. Here's another great candy, but I'll leave this one because it takes a while for things to spawn, uh, despawn. Um, I'll show off this one. This one is incredible after I kill this enemy. Jumps already. Right, this weapon. This we weapon? Whatever, candy. This candy allows you to increase your movement speed, reload speed, and fire rate. So I now move really fast. Be in that on the other side of that gap! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, horseradish! The kingpin must have cast a locket spell on this gate! You're gonna need an enchanted skeleton key. Let's dig up some graves and let's find ourselves some enchanted bones, you hear? <laughs> Nabbit, Folksbury there must have been 
normal time. Oh yeah, the pumpkins will also attack me in bits. The bones of wizards to create a working skeleton team. Keep on yeah. Ah, red candy. So, red candy, I believe, increases the gun damage that you do. I don't know about melee damage, but it definitely increases gun damage. You'll also hear a sound effect whenever you successfully hit a shot like this. And you can see... Ow. I don't know if I was doing more damage there with melee. But... Try to get in the green to see if it restores shield faster. Doesn't seem like it. I'll be wrong. It's just, uh, just health regen. Ah, blue. This is the last one. So, blue candy. When you pick it up and eat it, you restore ammo. You regenerate it. And you will continue to regenerate infinitely. The only thing I believe that's uh, exempt is rocket launchers. You will even regenerate grenades, but it takes a while. Similar to uh, magic missile or fireball. Also, when you melee someone, they get massive knockback. Let me show you. Try not to shoot the enchanted skeletons with projectiles, because, well, I say projectiles with regular bullets, because they do reflect similar to, uh, That's one of the enchanted bones you'll need. Oh yeah, they also Once leave a shock others, when you make the key, kill you'll them. You'll be able to go toe to toe with the pumpkin kingpin himself. Yoo-haw! Uh, there's an enemy that it's similar to that reflects. I can't remember which one it is. Thing. I'm better at information, so that's what I'll do. Like, don't get me wrong, I love if I made someone entertained. That's great. But I know for a fact that I am fairly boring. So, I've accepted that fact, and actually going to use that fact to my advantage. Actively trying to avoid doing the sequence right now to actually be informative. Ow. 
Oh, might I just add, I love the soundtrack for this, uh, Headhunter. Hey, hello, darling! Here we go. This is what I've been waiting for. Combat. Which is close enough to 460, I guess. And it does an extra 100 damage per shot. Like that. That's the normal shield that I would see. So. <laughs> not to do with the DLC though, so it's not important right now. Hey, another yellow candy. Right. That's going to be important. Remember that. setting myself up for this one. Hey! You found the last chance skeleton! Sentry deployed! There's gonna be a lot of enemies. Try not to lose the rest. Another sentry kill! Tossing a masker! Oh, a burning on this. My turret took out most of the enemies. Toss my grenades over there. Here you go. Oh god, there's more than one. Oh, uh, I thought that was legendary. Look at this guy. I know what I will do. Let me check how long this, uh... Let me check how long this is so far. Okay, so it's already been half an hour. Which is surprising. Really, roughly about that, anyway. Uh, I did... do a couple of checks before I actually started. Just to make sure, and... that might be the reason it's half an hour. Because I reckon it's only been about 20 minutes. I have never noticed that before, I really like that. Okay, I will continue with the story. Then I will make a separate video for the bonus mission and the secrets. I say story. The headhunter story. After all, this is just a silly little video about my interest. Yeah, but that's what it was. It was spider ants. Spider ants reflect bullets. Hey, that a girl! Another yellow pin. I'm 
done it before here. Just very... Just... Look at just the entire channel. So slowly to recover my action skill faster. No. That worked out too well. Snappy big gun. There we go. There's another yellow candy for later on. Or I could grab it now. I think I'll leave it. It'll be useful later on. If it hasn't despawned. I'll take the blue. I need the ammo. Should be a spider ant that spawns up there. Two. One of them is usually a fire, and the other one a caustic. I'll get two fires. So there's actually a reason that it spawns fire spider ants here, if you couldn't tell. There is a respawn checkpoint here, so be aware that if you do die at any point in the game, you will re respawn here at the forge. Totally named. I love all the little 
stickers and candy layouts and little hang ornaments on this map. It's all very Halloween-y and I love it very much. Ooh, these are better than mine too. Yes, because it's incendiary. It's very, you can actually fall into you. Onwards. Okay then. Can you? Can you pick that up? Keep in mind, they do respawn. He ain't here. Must be sleeping underground or something. Oh, I believe you can actually shoot them in the air. Similar to Cycles, Buzz oh, Axe, or the Bones of the I'll leave them here for now. Because as you heard TK Baja mention, I haven't actually described anything that we said so far. Let me uh, do a quick plot revision of this DLC slash headhunter so far. We came here to meet TK Baja, well, zombie TK Baja. We met up with him, and he said that someone named Pumpkin Kingpin has been hassling all the townspeople. So we're sent with the objective to deal with them. Specifically, put a stop to him. We go to this gate in the first place. Over there. Earlier on. He blocks it off to stop us from getting to it. So we go to visit Sully the Blacksmith. Windmill ain't working, is it? Oh, great horn toads. Must be the scrap nested up there in the blades. Better clear them all out. I'm sorry, those abominations there were made by good old Dr. Zed. Speaking of which, have you seen Zed? Zed lately? Thanks, what honey! Ted? Oh, oh, wait. And since I'm here, I'm supposed to talk about them. Another sentry kill! <laughs> Be very careful here. No. 
Legends of the Creature kicked him out of the Iridium Blight. Cinder was a real big, small or normal sized man or woman. And then there was one to four of them. The legends are pretty He blocks off the gate over there, to which we then need to visit Sully the blacksmith, because he has the magical hammer, I'm assuming, that is capable of putting together the enchanted skeleton's bones to turn it into an enchanted skeleton key. Now once we unlock the gate after fighting him and obtaining, quote unquote, his hammer, we can then get into this area where the Pumpkin Kingpin resides. However, he has not appeared because he's sleeping under the Pumpkin Grove. So, we need to wake him up. And by wake him up, I mean, you'll find out in a second. Say hello, with his combat. Actually, just stun lock him with this book hand. Then again, you can also send him to the middle of nowhere. Okay, the candy's right now, so back to basics. And he's down. So, after turning on these windmills because the flow of blood through the pipes had stopped, we now have trans- well, not trans- we have turned back on the blood flow through the pipes, which come to the pumpkin patch, meaning we can flood the pumpkin patch with blood and force him to come to the surface, like so. It also blocks off, so you can't leave. and leave. Like that? If you stay still, you will take a lot of damage in this stage. So do not stay still. Jumping would be perfect. Oh, right. Alan Hollow is safe once again. 
once again. <laughs> Come on back for your reward whenever you want, old pal. The pumpkins then explode, giving you access to whatever they may hold. Like this rage shield, or rod shield, which uh, is very tempting. SMG, which is not better than mine, but it will sell for a lot. Another SMG, which is TDR, which in my opinion is the second best kind of SMG. No. The third best kind of SMG. Since it's so fast at depleting all of its bullets in its magazine, you can throw it to do extra damage on enemies constantly. The best one, I believe, is Bandit. Because it holds the most capacity. Followed by Hyperion. Followed by TDR. Followed by Bell. Because I have burst fire when it's. Yeah! Like so, I'm just firing randomly, and then. The fire rate massively increases into round bursts. Get pretty much shot. Okay, so now Let's get to killing! That's why I took so much damage. Ouch. That one. Not bad. Okay. And with that. We have completed the main objective of this DLC. Defeat the Bunker Kingpin. Kill these uh, skeletons and then start on another day. Back to the entrance of Hallowed Hollow and talk with Zombie TK Baja. Thanks for coming on by, stranger. Don't see too many new folks these days, or ever, really, on account of the blindness. One day somebody will laugh at that joke. That was definitely very funny. Well, that'll do for the main video. I'll stop recording here and I will do a separate video as well, just now, for the secrets.